MX200 and MX300 walkthrough. So guys, I got this unit in for a customer. I have to bring it on site in a couple days here. And I uh, just started playing with it in my house. Figured it would be a good idea to do a quick walkthrough of what the new MX200 and 300 G2 units can do. Um, we can talk a little bit about the 700 and 800 as well. Those are the larger units. So on the smaller side of things, the MX200 G2 is a 42-inch monitor, and the MX300 is a 55-inch monitor. There's also a little bit of a difference in, in cameras here at the top. The 42-inch has a little bit of a wider angle lens. You can put it in a little bit of a smaller room, and you can still capture that whole room. But the MX300 has a little bit of a uh, narrow, narrower field of view, uh, most likely you know, for larger types of rooms. So I'm going to show you guys the front of this thing. We'll turn around to the back of it. I'll show you the touch panel. I'm running CE8.0 code on it. And I'll show you a couple cool things that the CE8 code allows us to do. So first things on the 200 and 300, you'll notice that these units are all enclosed. So I don't have to go out and purchase a television set, purchase speakers, purchase a codec. You buy the entire unit from Cisco and it comes just like this. So you have the camera mounted on the top. Again, you have your 42 inch or 55 inch screen here. You have your speakers built in, and then you have the option of either a pedestal stand, wheels, or a tabletop stand that you can put this in. Now, the reason I like the all-in-one units better than trying to piece them together yourself with different codecs and different TVs and everything is because Cisco can tune these things. So, you know, if you went out and you bought a television set and you try to piece this together yourselves, you know, they're making those things so thin now that you have a problem with speakers. The speakers are never loud enough when you don't piece them together. What Cisco did is we put in a few speakers here at the bottom, all amplified. So you're going to get a nice loud sound out of this, and the speakers are coming from the front of the unit as, as opposed to overhead, So if you're going to piece it together yourself. So that's going to cut down on a lot of integrator costs because everything is built into the unit itself. Cisco tunes these for voice um, and you know realistic sounds would be happening in a meeting. Then the screen here, the same thing. So this is tuned all for uh, video. It's not tuned for cartoons or anything else like that. It's tuned for human faces uh, to give you a realistic experience back and forth. Um, so again, just the front of the unit here, um, everything again completely enclosed. You buy it takes probably about five minutes to put together and plug it in and you're all set. And now we're going to take a look at the back of all the components and then we'll go uh, show you a couple cool things here. Okay, so I just flipped this thing around here and we can see all the connections that go into the unit. Um, this is based off of the SX20 codec, so you're going to have a lot of the same options um, on that codec as you do here. So starting from the top, the first cable here, this is for your touch panel. Now, you don't have to have the touch panel plugged into the back of this. It can pair over IP, so your touch panel can go into the wall um, to a PoE switch. Uh, you don't have to plug this directly in here. If the touch panel is going to be close enough or in a good enough area, you know, plug it directly into here. It kind of makes things a little bit easy. Then, going down here, this is your network cable. So, you know, that goes right into your wall. That does not have to be PoE. Um, underneath that is your second display option. So, this is HDMI and that could be for a presentation screen that, that you guys may want to have in the room. So you might want video on the primary screen here and then a, on the secondary screen, anyone that's sharing a presentation. Underneath that, here's our PC inputs here. So I have the DVI connection, um, if I'm still using DVI, and then I have a couple uh, HDMI connections here, again, to plug your laptops in or um, whatever, devices you, whatever device you really want. Underneath that is two microphone settings. These are three and a half millimeter um, microphone jacks right here. This unit also on the front does have a built-in microphone, so technically it has the capability of doing three mics. Um, in a small room setting, I've had a lot of luck with, luck with just using the uh, built-in internal mic on this thing, but if you have a little bit of a longer table, um, you, know, you can use the microphones right here, plug those in, makes it easy. Um, then there's also sound input here from PCs if you're going to try to play like a little movie clip or something that has sound on it um, from here that matches up to the DVI input up here at the top. Um, there's a USB port on the back here, not really sure what that's for. A lot of our stuff has USB ports on it for future or who knows. Um, then underneath that is a little reset button here. 
So with this, if you press it for, I think it's like 20 or 30 seconds um, with the unit on, uh, push, put a little paper, paper clip in there, press it in, let it go, and the unit will do a factory, factory reset for you. And then on the left side over here, we have our power cable. So taking this thing out of the box and setting it up, you're really looking at three cables. You're looking at the touch panel, you're looking at Ethernet, and you're looking at the power. And that's all you need and the thing's up and running. And we've had contests and we've gotten these things up in, in under four minutes. I think the record was like three minutes and 29 seconds or something like that. Um, from out of the box, unboxing it, putting it together, and actually placing a call with it. So very, very quick and easy to, to put together. Now I'm going to flip this back around and we're going to take a look at the touch panel. Um, and then I'm going to show technology called Intelligent Proximity for screen sharing. All right, so now we're at the touch panel here that's uh, on my desk. And the touch panel, you know, you typically try to place it somewhere common on the table here. This is the thing that controls the entire telepresence unit. Um, we did a really nice job of making this thing extremely simple. Um, because also with Cisco, everything is unified. I can have one device in the room now, and I don't even need a phone anymore. Um, so if I wanted to, I can come in here, I can hit the dial button, and I can dial, you know, 91, 800, you know, whatever number I wanted to, PT shop down the street, and it calls out. If I want to dial someone with video on this, I can either dial their extension if they're internal, maybe their extension 5003, or I got my dial pad right here, and I can do a SIP URI. So maybe I want to call myself, you know, I can, I can call that and you know at whatever cisco.com or whatever you guys want to do um, next thing on here is contacts so maybe I have stored contacts these are coming from Active Directory I can pull those up all right here I can put in a couple favorites so I have my collaboration meeting room in here so if I click that it'll throw me right into my collaboration meeting room again just extremely extremely simple no remotes anymore to deal with uh, none of that. And then if I am sharing content here, how to share it to the far side, I just push that share button right there and it throws me right in. Or it throws it across there. Uh, up at the top right here, this is the view. So if I want to do self view, I can turn that on. And if you, on the, you can see it here. It shows you on the screen where the self view is going to be on the actual uh, telepresence unit. I can move it around if I want to. So if I want the self view in the bottom right hand corner maybe I want it in the top right hand corner um, I have the freedom of moving that around wherever I want to go um, I can turn it off I can go back to the camera modes here this is how you control your camera so really easy to move the camera around you just kind of push it like this and it, and it moves around zoom in zoom out and you can also do camera presets on here. So if you want to say, you know, I want the full full room view, you zoom all the way out, make sure it's kind of centered. You hit add new, and then you add in that, that preset. And then maybe you want presenter. So you zoom in on the, on the person in the front of the table. You kind of make sure he's in the center there, and you add in another preset for that one. And that way, you know, during the meeting, um, it's really easy to kind of go back and forth and pick whatever scene you guys are trying to show to the far end. Now, we do have a technology that makes this a lot easier and a lot faster. That's called Speaker Track. Um, what it is, it's a dual camera solution, and it's all automatic. So you don't have to sit here playing with a touch panel if you want to get um, a better scene of, of what's going on in the room. Speaker Track will automatically find the person that's talking, automatically frame them in zoom in on the person if you're on a whiteboard in the back of the room it'll capture yourself and it also capture the whiteboard that's back there uh, so i'm going to exit out of that here and then the last thing i'll show you guys is the settings button up here at the top um, this is typically what you what you would see proximity and i'll show you guys this in a second is turned on right now and that's the capabilities to not only wireless transmit to the unit but also i can now wirelessly receive from the unit so I have a lot of people that are wondering how to do wireless presentation sharing. It's kind of the new hot thing. Everyone's sick of these cables and these dongles. Are you HDMI? Are you VGA? Are you DisplayPort? Are you DVI? Cisco said there has to be an easier way to do this. Um, a lot of people have been trying to do things with like Chromecast or Apple TVs, but these things are never really that easy to, to set up. 
some customers went out and bought these actual wireless presentation systems that re rely on IP, knowing the IP address of a certain room. With Cisco, what we do is we have um, this ultra high frequency sound that comes out of the speakers on the unit that I was showing you before. You walk in with your laptop and it automatically pairs with the unit. Um, when that happens, now you have the freedom of wirelessly transmitting to the unit. And if you're in the back of the room, you could open up an iPad or an iPhone and you can wirelessly receive the content that someone's showing in the front of the room. So maybe you're just, you're in the back and it's kind of hard to see the content. You pull it up on your iPad. So that's what I'm going to go ahead and, and demo next here so you guys can see how easy it is to share content. All right, so back to my laptop here. I'm going to show you guys what the intelligent proximity looks like. So right at the top here, when you install it on a Mac, it shows up here. And we go ahead and we click that. And all you do is you say share screen. And now I'm wirelessly transmitting to the uh, MX200 or MX300 or any of, any of the units here. And I didn't have to do anything else. I didn't have to worry about, again, plugging anything in. And... I'm going to pull up a presentation here real quick just to show um, what it looks like. And I'll show you actually what the other side looks like as well when it's receiving. So, you know, this is a presentation that I go through a lot. kind of outlines exactly what we just talked about. This is your typical conference room type of experience. You have a phone in the table. You maybe have a video conferencing room system um, tucked in the corner there. You have uh, a computer in the room. You have a projector in the room because you need to pro project things. Um, you try to simplify this. You maybe go out and buy all these microphone mixers and these amplifiers because you need speakers in the room. And then you try to throw like a pressure on panel on top of it. And, you know, these setups like this, you know, it, it's not cheap and it's, and it's also not easy to use. A lot of times, I think the statistics, 27%, someone walks into a room like this they end up throwing their iPhone on the table. So everything we just went over can be done with just a Cisco telepresence endpoint. And now to show you guys what that looked like on the mobile device, I'm going to turn on proximity here, and I have my iPhone in front of me. And it's going to connect. Hopefully this is coming in here. And those two slides that I just went over, well, I have them remotely now. So maybe I missed a slide. I came in late. I can pan back to a couple slides there. So I can have a history of all the content and everything right here locally to myself. And again, I can thumb through and I can end on the last slide there, go live. Um, you do also have the option of letting iPhone users, iPad users, Android users actually control the endpoint from their device. So right there at the bottom, I could hit new call um, I can also take a snapshot of what's going on here, but let's say you know I'm using my iPhone most of the most of the day. Um, I can just walk into any telepresence room with the proximity turned on, hit add call, and I use this as my touch panel. So very easy, very easy to use, very seamless. Everything just kind of works when you walk in the room. You don't really have to call IT anymore to get any to get anything done.